Now what we're going to do is this is a, a globe of the world and we are going to convert that globe to this apple. This apple is going to represent this world. Now what I need to know is something that you learned in probably the fourth grade and that is what percentage of the Earth's surface is water? I'm gonna, I like this number, yours is good, uh, but 75 is good because of the division that I have to make with this apple. So roughly 75% of the Earth's surface is covered in water in one way, shape, or another, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, being that the apple is representing the world, I am gonna cut this apple, and I am gonna cut out, I am gonna cut out This three-fourths of the apple I'm going to set aside because we cannot use it and grow anything on there for the resources that we need, such as food as well as the resource of timber that we're here to talk about uh, for the rest of the week. Um, so what I'm going to do now is this one-fourth of the Earth's surface that is ground of some sort, I'm going to cut into four equal parts. I'm going to do it one quarter at a time. And I'm going to talk about each one of these. So this particular segment of the Earth's surface we can't use because it represents deserts and swamps and very high mountains. And you can't grow or return or invest anything as far as plant life. You can't get food crops off of it, and you certainly can't get uh, trees. There's very few trees that amount to anything that could be grown on that. So I'm going to set this to the side. And again, I'm going to go back to that original quarter, and I'm going to cut off one more segment. This particular segment we can't use because it's too, uh, too rocky, uh, too wet, and too steep to be able to grow any natural resources on it that we need. All right, so here's another segment of the Earth's surface that we're going to have to set aside as being unuseful to our um, necessities of resources. So that leaves us these two segments. I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to talk about this segment. We can't use this one because this is where we have built our stuff marts, our homes, our subdivisions, our roads, our schools, and all of our urban development, as well as the individual homes that you find in rural areas. So that surface is unattainable, unavailable for us to grow materials on, plant life, such as uh, all the crops that we need to eat with, plus the timber that we use as a resource. So we're going to set it aside too. So now what we have is this small segment of the Earth's surface that we are going to be gaining, gleaning our food and natural resources of timber. Now if you were paying attention out there today in the soil pit, you recognize that that soil is not very deep. In fact, on an average, around the world, remember this little segment represents all the land around the world, and if you go around the world and you measure the depth of the soil, it is essentially five feet deep. All right? And that five feet is where we are growing all of our resources to eat and to grow this timber. And the thing is, if we do not take care of that five feet of soil, and remember, uh, I think Amanda said out there today that you know those areas out there had been used for farming and we had lost some of the uh, material. Uh, what is at the end of the Mississippi River? The Gulf of Mexico. So between New Orleans and the Gulf of Mexico, what do we have? A delta. A delta, right. And what is that delta made out of? It's marshland created from? 
all of the soil from Kentucky, Illinois, Ohio, the entire Ohio Valley drainage, the entire Mississippi Valley drainage, all of that soil and all of that land that has been mismanaged and all of that soil that has gone down has gone down and left. So the thing is, is that's why we only have five feet. Other times at other areas, uh, we had deeper soils. But what you are here for this week is for us to try to explain to you why it is important for not only our age group, but also your age group to understand the need for responsibility to maintain this soil rich area that we have because we have so little of it, we have to maintain it in such a way that uh, we're able to grow all the food sources. Again, this is not just United States, this is worldwide as far as how much soil we have to grow those crops. And if nothing more than when you leave here, I have no idea what you are going to become professionally in your future years. Um, even if you're not associated with agriculture, culture, recognize the fact that it's your responsibility and your friends, your peers, your community to take care of this. Um, there are a tremendous number of agencies throughout the United States, throughout the world, that are trying to maintain this land for uh, the future, and you are the future. And we have done, you've all heard of the Dust Bowl, have you not? Uh, it was simply an eradication of a layer of soil from the Midwest. And it was simply done because we had over, over cultivated that land area. And for that reason, uh, we lost a great deal of soil. And so it's been researched in trying to redevelop that. But again, I implore you, to in your future, no matter what profession you go into, recognize the fact every time you disturb soil, there's the possibility of losing it.